Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play FTL. I'm Nye, this is still Trance. Hello. And uh, we are still making runs, still making things happen. So, uh, what do we want to use? I think we're gonna keep using the Nasasio, because I really don't have a lot of uh, familiarity with this ship. I'm gonna try to see if we can make this thing actually work. That's a badass little ship, it's just working. Hmm. Okay, so let's start off here. Let's go ahead and make sure that our guys are in the places they should be. Get our weapons going, get our engines going. And we're gonna start jumping, let's see what we can find. Kind of looking for a, uh, let's see, let's board the station, look for survivors. Lost a crew member immediately. Oh, that! Restart button. Yeah, that's just... That is dicks. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's try again. Let's see. We got all of these locations all have a person. So let's go ahead and do the um, nebula first to slow down our pursuers. And uh, let's fight this thing. I'm okay with fighting this thing. Let's attack this automaton. It has a cloaking device. So do I. I'm going to take some damage here, but hopefully I'll be able to uh, get it in one cloak. Okay, that's one bit of damage. I'm fine with that bit of damage. Okay, dual lasers are online. Mini beam is online. Cloak up. First mini beam to stop it from being a, or across its engines and its uh, cockpit. It's going to be uh, three damage from that. I'm not going to be able to deal enough damage, damn it. I thought the way out was... You might be able to. If your mini beam recharge, if your dual lasers recharge in time, that is. Let's see. Oh, probably should fire the dual lasers at some point. Nope. That's what it is. You need a level two. Yeah, player. gotta have the level two. That thing went invisible, but it doesn't have any ability to fight me back. Yeah, with the level two. Look, that's what it is. The guide that I saw that suggested it suggests starting on easy, where you start with just enough scrap to go level two cloak. Well, I can go level two now. Good idea. You might find another one of those little bastards. Then one can only hope. Okay, let's just jump around. Not quite, unfortunately. This is another one of the ones that actually tries to alert level free, Le Rebel Fleet, and it has not only a missile launcher, but it also has a uh, level 2 burst laser, too. Or, yeah, burst laser mark, too. Yeesh. I'm just gonna accept that hit, because I don't want to take this hit. Okay, that hit, and... That's gonna hit. Good. Okay. I said cross her nose, not a bit. Oh, well, that sucks. Okay, dual lasers, please fire faster. Yes! Okay, their weapons are offline. Mini beam to deactivate everything else. Good. Okay. Man, yeah, the plus side about these weapons is that they fire really fast. Okay, one fuel, two missiles, twelve scrap. That's good. I'd say uh, your top priorities for money should be saving towards the shield and a better beam. Yeah, I can. Well, maybe not necessarily a better beam, but the shields, definitely. Well, a better beam would help so friggin' much. Oh, yeah, it definitely would. It's just the, the shields are, uh. Absolute time. Yeah. Shields are top priority. Damn it! Are you kidding me? Somehow that uh, ion blast still hit and it took out my dual lasers. So I've got to wait for that to recharge. It's going to give this thing time to attack me. I was hoping to take it out or take out its weapons before it had that chance. Okay. Luckily, I took out one important weapon, and I took out their O2 and their shields, and their we uh, well, mostly got their shields, and now their weapons are offline. Okay, so that's better. Attack there. Let's accept their offer. They're going to give me another human. So if I ever get shields, now I have someone to man them. Okay, I got an 
I'm gonna gradually head towards those distress beacons. We're trying to explore as much as possible to get as much scrap as possible here. Uh, these guys, I'm gonna reject their offer. Uh, they have a beam, of course they do. Uh, which I'm not gonna be able to do anything about. And they also have a regular laser, which I can dodge. It's the uh, beam that I'm worried about. There go my dual lasers, of course. And there's the beam that deals damage. You get in here, fix that. I was gonna try to dodge their stuff, but uh, the game just didn't want to let me. Let's dodge that. Activate the dual, get the dual lasers activated. You get back in here. I'm gonna get hit by that beam again, which is taking stuff out gradually. Okay, now they're actual. Uh, you get back in here, get that dodge chance going again. God, stop taking that thing out. Okay. Let's go ahead and do like this. Okay, their weapons are now offline. But we took 11 damage just in this fight, trying to take those weapons offline. Brutal. These Zoltan ships are becoming more and more of a mess problem for me. It's that friggin' shield. Yeah. And, of course, it's the beams that came with it. Yeah. But it's okay. We're we're back online, and they're dead. Online, got a good bit of scrap. About 17. The fuel is more important to me. Getting a three fuel off that particular fight was very very good. Okay, Federation encrypted signals and away party to investigate. We got four fuel, two missiles, and ten scrap, and a quest to go and uh, save another rebel uh, base, which we can hit up soon. Uh, I have four crew members and I don't need all four, so I'm gonna risk one crew member to go help control these crowds. Uh, we lost one crew member, but we got a reward for that, so that's fine. You sacrificed Frank for just a little bit of scrap. You monster. It was necessary. I know, I know. Okay, these guys want fuel. I will actually give them fuel and they will give me a hull beam. Nice! I think? Yeah, hull beams are good. They're a little bit stronger than my mini beam, which is important. They deal about the same amount of damage, but uh, they um, do it over a Double much longer area. They do it over a huge area, which is awesome. I just, unfortunately, I do not have the uh, weapons, like, area to use it. Let's dodge that. Out his weapons. And now let's use the mini beam to take out his shields. Awesome. Okay, so we still got a couple weapons I have to worry about, but not as many, which is what's important. And his uh, engines are offline, which means I can now work on his weapon again. My mini beam is not going to be useful. I'm going to take a shot off of this. Two damage off of that sucks, but what are you going to do? And his weapons are now offline, and mini beam is going to chew him up again. Oh, come on. Didn't have enough time to actually take out his shields. But he has no weapons, which is fine. He's so also got no shields, so we'll go ahead and take him out. Okay, that gets us two fuel, drone part, and ten scrap just for taking him out, and they give me ten scrap and a small bomb. I'm thinking you might want to get the extra point in weapons to use your hull beam. Yeah, I'm thinking about the same thing. The problem is, I'm right now, I'm halfway to shields. And that extra point in weapons will only cost me 25. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. I'm gonna have to spend two points to get power, though. Yeah, which... Unfortunate, but... Unfortunately... Gotta... Necessary, yeah. Yeah. The additional output will keep you alive longer, will get you more money, will get you your shields. Hopefully. Plus, you can sell some of the old stuff to recoup losses. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go the green line for this. I'm not gonna bother trying to go the hard the hard line here. Not in this ship. Uh, I'm here. I'm gonna avoid that store, and so I'm just gonna move onwards and outwards. Interesting. I got no systems here. I got a distress beacon right here. Let's hit that. Find another guy that needs fuel. I guess we'll give them fuel, and they give me a hull smasher laser. 
getting a lot of items, but none of them are useful. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put the hull smash laser instead of the hull beam for now. Like, I'm gonna oh. just charge that up for now. Because it actually does more damage off the bat and it's not... It doesn't care about shields. Like, it actually punches through shields. That not, is Not nice. punches through, but does two shots instead of one. Okay, let's try to track down this Federation ship in the nebula. Uh, nobody in there, but we got some. We got 17 scrap, which is helpful. Gonna keep jumping. Come on, show me something useful. Not gonna surrender my crew to slavers. Okay. Well, right now I have a 30% dodge chance. I have four crew members again. I also have dual lasers and the hull smasher. Let's go ahead and dodge those. Waiting for the hull smasher to come online. Dual lasers to their weapons. And... Hull Smasher also to their weapons, takes their weapons out entirely. So now with no weapons, now I can take them out with ease. Because all they have is a Mantis. Stroke of luck. That's why I wanted the Hull Smasher more than I wanted uh, the uh, uh, Hull Beam. Because I can get a little bit more damage exactly where I need it, and it will also work on like level three shields. I could still sneak some damage in. No, you cannot have your weapon back. I got a little bit of damage in there. They got a fire going on in their weapons, which they're not going to be able to put out. I'm kind of expecting them to surrender any moment now, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Nope, they're powering up their FTL, so yeah, they're not going to surrender. We're not going to get a crew member out of this, but, uh, oh well. Don't need another crew member right now anyways. Missiles, drone parts, scrap, unfortunately no fuel. Attack the slaver scum! Okay. Just wait for everything to charge up here. that. Oh, how did that still hit? 90% evade chance, and I still get hit. But I understand it's 90%, not 100%, but seriously. And I've got this fire that doesn't want to go out. Computer, cheating bastard, etc, etc. Yeah, yada, yada, yada. You are not allowed to have your weapons. Keep those away. Man, they're just... <laughs> I mean, I know it's NG, and that's why it's going on, but man, their rate of repair. My hull's at 50%. Damn. Come on, come on. Dodge that. Accept their slave. It's gonna be a mantis. Okay. If I get a crew teleporter, I will actually be able to use teleport stuff. Not trading fuel for drone parts. Not interested. What am I gonna find here? Well, let's aid the civilian ship here. Okay, these guys are probably gonna be easy. Just waiting for that. That fires. Dodge both of those. Baited out the missile, which is what I'm actually really happy about. Okay, and got a breach on their weapons, uh, which should... Nice. Yeah, that's good. That means uh, it's going to be much less likely I'm actually going to take damage. Their weapons are now offline, and they only have a uh, mantis to uh, work on them. Engines are offline now. That freaking hull smasher is brutal. It only does, like it only does one damage per laser. That's the thing. Yeah, but it punches through and wrecks systems. Well, so do all lasers. It's just I have four total shots right now, as opposed to like just two total shots, which is helping immensely. And there they go. Okay. Fuel missile scrap. Civilian ship gives me fuel missile scrap. Very nice. Yeah, that's what I was kind of hoping for. 
Okay, let's keep on jumping around. I'm at 99 scrap. If I can get 150, I'm not trading fuel. Stop asking. If I can get 150, those are gonna be my shields and then we'll actually be able to win. Still not gonna surrender my crew to slavers. Stop asking. You're really close though with the stuff you've got to sell. You, you yeah. should be just about there. Especially after this. I might be able to jump to that uh, store that's behind me. Okay, their weapons are offline. I might be able to jump to that store that's behind me and do it that way. Good luck. Maybe. Hope he's actually got a shield. They usually do. Okay, these guys are basically offline. Yeah, they're gone. Okay. That was really lucky. Oh, come on. Die already. Okay. So, that gives us fuel drone parts scrap. Jump to this store. Please, please, please have a shield. Shields. Okay. Sell uh, the anti-personnel drone that I don't need. That gets me there. Sell the small bomb that I'm never going to use. Sell the mini beam I don't need anymore. Now, I can buy shields. Can't buy the crew teleporter, unfortunately. But I can... You can repair. Repair and buy all the fuel they have. Okay. Now I feel a little bit more satisfied. Shields you're gonna are online. have to spend a little to get your shield beyond level 1 bubble, but yeah. who cares? I have shields and I have cloaking. And that's yes. going to be enough to actually get me somewhere. Okay. Let's attempt to cloak and access the, cl the cache, and we get nothing useful. Okay. Well, we'll jump over into the uh, engine control sector. Okay. Going to try and avoid damaging sectors? Have been already. Haven't had to go through one just yet. Kick ass. Uh, let's uh, try to shield their ship with ours. We took some damage, but we got 16 scrap. Oh well. Earth it. Yeah. That my fuel is kind of a point of contention right now. Come on. Give me something. Yes, give me three free fuel, and yes, I will get you to your quest marker. That's fine. What am I going to find here? Fake distress beacon? Okay. And they have a big ass laser. Okay, that's kind of scary. That beam right there. Yeah, that does look ominous. Uh, it's more than ominous. That's a very powerful one. And half of my lasers miss. It's going to punch through my shields, so I'm going to take some damage right now. Ow. Okay, but these guys are going to pay for that. Or would if anything I fired hit. Get out of there, go in there, fix shields. Forget around, uh, forget about the damn um, uh, med bay. We don't need it right now. Thank you. Wep their weapons are now offline. Okay. Just in time, too. There goes that. Take him out, please. Oh, come on, how is he not dead? I do not understand how some of the or how some of the stuff is not working, and their weapons are back online. But shouldn't matter. Drop for me six fuel, two drone parts, eighteen scrap. Done. Okay, let's uh, hold on to my scrap, and we'll use that for uh, level two shield soon. Okay. They give me one drone parts, one missile, 35 scrap. That is enough to power me up to level 2 shields. But in order to actually get level 2 shields, I am going to need uh, more power. So that's my next goal. Participate in these guys' study. Get 14 scrap. We're doing good. We're actually doing okay here. And... 
there's mantises to deal with. Okay, these guys are gonna jump onto my ship. Where did they go? They went into my shield bay. Let's fight them in there. Do you have a decent chance against mantids? Yeah. I have a mantis of my own, and I have four crew members that can go into that room and fight back. True. Okay, I'm waiting for this. When so you start. might want to get those two that are almost dead into med. dead. Okay, who needs to go where? You need to go back in there. You are going to stay there. You back in there. You back in weapons. You into there. You work on shields. Okay. Take that out, please. That's not what I was looking for. Take that out, please. Thank you. Okay, both of their uh, weapons are currently offline. Or temporarily, unfortunately. Well, your hull lasers are just about back, so you should be able to finish them. Nope, unfortunately not, but I will be able to dodge their next fire. Okay, now that's taken care of. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, mischance. Okay, there. Hull lasers there. This can fire there. Keep them busy. Awesome. That NG's not going to go anywhere I don't want him to. He's stuck in that O2 forever today. Crap, this I'm going to take. They're dead, but we took a crap ton of damage. Ouch. Yeah, that was, uh... Do you have friendly. enough scrap to increase your power for your new shields, at least? Yes. You get in there, fix that up, while he moves on. No, 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 that is something I can do, yeah. Now I can get up to level 2 shields. That's gonna help a lot. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna... We're still not in a good place. Uh, we're still at less than 50% health and everything like that. Mm -hmm. But we're better than we were a minute ago. You've got a damn good chance of making it to repairs. Yeah. Okay, is everybody good? Uh, you need to go heal. I don't know about getting any of the achievements, though. I'm kind of well, amazed. Well, to avoid damaging terrain, you should get at least that one. I'm kind of amazed. That guy had two burst lasers each, which fire uh, one shot a piece for one damage a piece. I dodged ten shots. How did I, I not get the dodge nine points of damage achievement just now? You have to do it in a single cloak without shields. Where does it say that? Oh, I, now I remember. Yeah, you do. Damn it. Okay, so you just have to turn off your shields for it. Yeah. Okay, now I have level 2 shields and level 4 uh, uh, engines. So now we're ready to actually start upgrading from this part on, this here on out. Okay, well, we got a fight going on in the middle of our uh, med bay. Get those guys to stop what they're doing. Uh, let's see. If these things fire at the same time... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this... Oh, hello. Probably should power that, huh? Okay, one of their NGs just died. You get in here. Yeah, unfortunately that didn't work. Okay, dual lasers to that. Whole laser to that. Let's take out their weapons. Unfortunately, I did not fire as much damage at once as I need them to in order to actually make that work. And I'm gonna get hit by a lot of lasers. Or not, apparently that'll all, that'll all miss. That's fine. Kind of. 
And missed with absolutely every weapon I fired. That's probably my favorite part about beams, the fact that they just lance regardless. Well, here's the problem with, um, with the beams. The, uh, shields have to be down for them to yeah, I know. That's what makes the B version of this ship so fantastic. It starts with the glaive, which means anything with less than three shields is hosed. your first swipe takes out their friggin' shields. Yeah. Okay. God damn it. Their freaking drone was in front of the shot when it fired. So it didn't actually hit. Dodge that. Like, I'm trying to take his weapons offline, but he's healing it just as fast as I take it down. Yeah, I can't hit anything. I'm taking down its shield, so it's all, about all I'm getting on it. That hit just in time. Okay, we took out a crew member, at least. They still have a couple of uh, blasts left. Your hull isn't looking so good. Hope you find a shop soon. How did that- oh, right, that was an empty section. Damn it. I was trying to kill them and didn't hit an empty section. Ow. Okay. This should- if everything hits, they're gone. There we go. Okay. So let's heal up. Gave me a ton of fuel and missiles. And heaps of scrap. And heaps of scrap, so yeah. Which is- You'll be able to repair, no sweat. Uh, it's just a matter of finding a, uh, a shop to do it. Okay. I'm not sure about us hitting, uh, Sector 8. I'm... It's becoming increasingly unlikely, just sort of the longer we do it. Okay, let's keep on healing up. What were you working on? Your engines. And your shields. Okay, jump to the next beacon. What are we gonna find here? 18 scrap and a free healing burst weapon. Okay. And go to the exit. What are we gonna find here? Trade four missiles for four fuel. Done. Jump to the next sector, which is the Zoltan Homeworlds. This is only sector five. So uh, we're not at all particularly far along. What am I going to find here? Absolutely nothing. There's a store, so let's go there. What am I going to find here? Let's sell anti-personnel drone and the healing bomb. Okay, the question is, what do I want? You can afford a full repair and a scrap recovery arm or save for gold or power-ups. I kind of want that scrap recovery arm. Yeah. And by that's kind of, I mean buy it. Yeah. Let's go to the distress beacon. Remember, it's a scrap from all sources. Mm hmm. So, for instance, that 24 scrap just became 26. I'm not sure how that works, but sure. Ah, God damn it. Well, your whole laser will help with punching through that Zoltan shield quite nicely. Oh yeah, Will, okay. it's that's not what's worrying me. They have a really powerful uh, beam weapon. Uh, well, actually, I'm not sure if that's powerful or if that's just... That might be a fire beam. I can never tell that one apart. But they have a beam weapon, which worries me. But it missed. <laughs> One of their weapons went offline, but they did take my shields out temporarily. Watch that. Okay. Attack. Well, let's see if I can get the hit in anyways. Okay, so got two, two points of damage in there right there. Kind of just sneaking this damage in every time. 
Okay. Shields. Sneak damage in. Okay. They're offering me four fuel, drone parts, 22 scrap. I'll take it. Okay, let's jump into this nebula. So I'm trying to get the crew teleporter. If I can get that, that's going to make life a lot easier. Okay, so we find a huge monolith. There's Zoltan Elder saying, look into the great eye and receive your just dessert. This can do a lot of things. Pulling closer, and it gives us 45 scrap. Nice! Well, it's not always nice. Sometimes it spawns an enemy for you to fight. Sometimes it steals a crew member. Sometimes it gives you scrap. Uh, it does a lot of things. Oh, it just gave you a lot of scrap. It did. Which I'm going to use for a crew teleporter as soon as I get a chance. Honestly, I'm surprised you're not diverting it more into power and shields, but, you know. Because a crew teleporter means I'm going to get to kill faster. Because we're starting to get to a point where my weapons are not good enough to kill enemy ships. And that's a major issue. Come on, come on, come on, charge faster. Like, for instance, the problem is these enemy ships are starting to have enough, um, there's a resist. They're starting to have enough, uh, evasion chance to make it so I'm not hitting with enough of my lasers to actually take them out with any regularity. Okay, lost my cockpit, but that'll be coming back online fairly soon. So yeah, I want a crew teleporter as fast as possible, especially because I have the crew, I have a mantis, so I can actually support them. Still hitting a decent amount, so I'm not I'm not like entirely worried about it. We're still hitting a, uh, enough that I can deal damage. Uh, we're hitting three out of four shots, but uh, I can no longer reliably take out uh, systems. So that kind of sucks. Okay, that's that. They're offering me six fuel, eight missiles, and 17 scrap. Done. The less I have to fight, the more I can move on. Okay, another Zoltan research facility. This one is another hostage situation. Yeesh. Yeah, this is uh, not a fun fight. Can you get in here and fight that Zoltan, please? And also, we have a... Uh, it's a rock ship with... um. This thing has three shields, so I have to hit with all of my weapons in order to uh, hurt them at all. Which actually happened, but that's kind of a rarity. So we are fighting them off, which is working. You get in here and help with that. Yeah, but see, that didn't hit. So I have to have 100% accuracy to even damage these guys. And then, of course, there's also the, you know, chance that because it's a rock, uh, a rock ship, uh, it'll uh, just resist the damage. So this might be one I might be willing to just run away. I'm going to try a little bit longer, though, see if I can actually get something out of this. Because the potential rewards for successful would be pretty good. I'm wondering why you're not going to try and damage the shield instead of weapons and flank. Because that, um, they're going to repair it before I get another hit on it. Ah, fair enough. So it's, I mean, it's not a bad idea because I can't reliably get a hull laser to land or get that extra damage, but... There, there, there we go. Well, I actually landed a hit that time, which is what I was what I was hoping for, and that will actually allow me to start working on it. But they have an NG on it, so it's going to repair before I can do anything about it. Yeah, was able to land another hit on it just in time, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're kind of tearing me apart. When did auto fire get turned on? Come on, dual lasers, turn online. I don't know 
why these things, how auto fire keeps on getting turned on. I'm not turning it on. Up key? I haven't pressed V. And their shields are back online. You know what? We're jumping. I'm leaving this. I'm not dealing with this anymore. Not worth it. And we've been attacked by Mantis. Okay, you know what? I have no problem with this. Okay, let's do this fight in here. We're gonna have to cycle guys in and out in order to do this. Ah, I'm gonna take a hit. Damn it. My, uh... Any hits on them? No, I did not. Our O2 is gone. You get in here and help with that. You out. You in. Actually, you know what? You get back there. You get back there. What we're gonna have to do. Oh, my door control's down. Damn it. I was just going to vent the decks, but my door control's down, so I don't have that as an option. Okay, you got- you get in there, you two go join her, and hopefully we can just kill these guys in there and not get wrecked. Okay, you two fix that. This is just one of those, I hope, I hope, I hope we actually get- we actually land the uh, shots I need. to get in there and fix that. So far, though, we're, we're actually landing these shots, which is important. And by landing, I mean we just missed three out of four. And we're gonna get hit by that missile. Ugh. I should like this ship. It's a ship that's for the cloaking device, so why do I p get pissed off so much by this ship? Because the computer is a cheating bastard. That's fully true. Oh, come on. Yeah, at this point, we're going to use a hull beam. As stupid as it is that I have to use a hull beam to make this work. Oh, it's useful that you have the option. And the hull beam not having to worry about mischance makes it really useful. That's why I'm using it. Not because it's good, because it doesn't have mischance. The problem is, I can't even do anything with it unless my dual lasers actually hits. And it's not. I I'm missing 50% of my shots here. And that's being generous. And they are taking out my shields like nothing else. Yep. We're probably going to die here. Because, again, I'm only hitting about 50% of my shots. There we go. Okay. And that actually deals a decent amount of damage. Finally. Can you get in there? Hope you find a shop soon. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any shops in uh, in this sector. I think I've passed them all up. Come on, hit, hit. Thank you. And they're gone. That hull beam is dead useful. Yeah, I mean, it's... Don't get me wrong, the hull beam is useful. It's just, if they have shields, it's useless. Is there a store? No. Okay, we're going to have to go to the next sector and hope. We have plenty of fuel. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. And there's the store, in a place that I can no longer access. Okay, let's go to the rebel control sector. Wait, why? Because it was rebel controlled sector or rock controlled sector. And rocks uh, are a little bit stronger than rebels. But are you even allowed to use shops in rebel control sectors? Yeah. Oh, fair 
Fair enough. Yeah, no, no, that doesn't change. Okay. Let's turn off my shields. How did that still hit? I have a 92% chance of evade. And TCI ACB. Yeah. You get out of there. Okay. And still not hitting with enough. Or hitting enough. This thing has two ion bombs and fires six shots at once. I'm dead. Depending on how long it's in uh, cloaking, because I might be able to get my cloak back online fast enough. Come on. Thank you. Okay, I dealt a decent amount of damage, did not take a single weapon offline. My shields are now mostly offline, so as soon as those two things fire, we're dead. Take them offline, take them offline, take them offline. Nope. And that's it. Okay. Well, it was another it's interesting noble. run. It's a noble effort. Well, it's the best run we've ever had with an Asasio, but that's not really saying much. I think with a bit more practice, you'll get used to the Nasasio and start being... Yeah, well, eventually. Well, practice won't prevent being fucked by the RNG, but you know. Yeah, I mean, eventually we'll be able to do something with it. I think we. Sh I think part of it is not relying on these shields at all. Like, not relying on getting them, just getting them if they're practical, and upgrading uh, dodge chance instead. Yeah. Maximizing engines, stealth, and weapons seems to be the best thing to do with this ship. I'm just not sure what you're able to do about beams. There's just there doesn't seem to be anything you can do about them. Take them out first. Uh, unfortunately, that's not an option. Would probably be one of the best things for this ship. Quite possibly. Okay, guys, we'll see you next time. Interviewers.